Hey, welcome to Kids Time. I'm Miss Debbie and I am so glad you're here with me today to do another Kids Time. Yes. Did you do yours yesterday? Did you get to get a star? Because you did All We Like Sheep Have Gone Astray. Did you put your cotton balls on your lamb? Did you practice it? And kids time memory verse cards where you can practice your memory verses that you're learning about God and about Jesus. Let's say what yesterday's was. All we like sheep have gone astray. But you remember the good part of that? That just like sheep can wander off and we can, that God comes and he finds us. Today, we are going to do B. But the very hairs of your head are numbered. Who can count how many hairs you have? Let's count Miss Debbie's. One, two, three. Oh, we don't have time. And we couldn't count how many hairs I have. But do you know who does know how many hairs you have? God, your heavenly Father knows everything about you and he loves you so, so much. So today, we are going to do this fun activity. If you're a boy, you may have fewer hairs or maybe you'd have not as long of a hair as maybe if you are a girl or you have a sister. Are you a girl and you have long hair? Or are you a boy and you have short hair? How many hairs do you have? Nobody knows but God. But today our fun activity is, do you see that yarn over there? Well, let's get it. Here's our yarn and we are going to get us a paper plate. Do you have your paper plate? If you don't, you grab your little paper plate and then get some yarn. If you don't have yarn, you know what you can do? If you don't have yarn, you can just get some construction paper like this and cut some pieces and make your own hair like that. Let me show you a couple of ways we could do it. Okay, first we're going to cut our yarn. Let's see, my hair is about this long. So I'm going to cut my yarn this long. And I know I have more than one hair, so I'm gonna cut another one. And I'm going to cut another one. And I'm going to cut another one. Now, while you are cutting your yarn, you know what? Just, I thought of, you may not have a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, that is not a problem. You just get your scissors and ask your mom or dad for a piece of paper. It could be just regular paper. And you can just make a circle. It'll be your face. And you can just cut that out. You might have a round face. You might have an oval face. It doesn't matter, but you can cut your face out. I'm gonna play like, this is my face. And then we're gonna get our glue stick. Do you have a glue stick? If you don't have glue, you can use tape, all right? And then we're going to draw some eyes. I have brown eyes, so here I go. Drawing my eyes. There's one eye, and there's one eye, and I've got some eyebrows, and there's my nose, and there's my smile. Oh, I don't have any hair. I need some hair. And so I am going to get my tape, and I am going to tape my hair on there. Are you doing yours? Get your tape, get your hair. Okay, and we're gonna put a bunch of hair. Oh, my hair's not that long. What was I thinking? I don't think my hair's that long. No, my hair's not that long. I need to cut my hair. <laughs> so we can cut our hair, we can change it up if maybe we've cut it too long. But the most important thing is we want to write our Bible verse right here. And it says, but the very hairs of your head are numbered. And that is a verse from Matthew 10, 30 in the Bible. You remember we talked about the Bible and how the Bible is our Heavenly Father's and Jesus's letters to us and words to us. And Matthew 10, 30 says, but the very hairs of your head are numbered. That means our Heavenly Father knows everything about us and he loves us. And I love you. I'll see you next time. Visit me at my website, DebbieTaylorWilliams.com or on Facebook. <music>